In this video, I will be explaining the importance of the aerodynamic consideration in vehicle body design. Ok, let's see what are the things which makes an automobile engineer to consider the aerodynamics. If he have considered the aerodynamic factors in this design, he can get better fuel economy, an increased top speed of the vehicle, have been compared to the vehicle which powered with a similar engine and doesn't consider aerodynamic factors then more favorable comfort for passengers as well as the driver and reduced aerodynamic noise. Though there are a lot of aerodynamic forces and moments acting on a vehicle, more importance is generally given in the drag force because of its intensity effect. Let's try to understand what does the term drag force exactly mean. In this image you can see a steel ball which is put into a fluid, say water. Here as the ball moves downwards, the drag force acts towards the upward direction resisting the downward motion. Uh, similarly here is another example, a person running with a resistance parachute. The resistive drag force is opposite to the direction of his motion. In this aircraft, the drag force is opposite to the direction of the motion of aircraft. The key point one should take away from these examples, a considerable amount of thrust we supply to propel the aircraft is spent to overcome the drag resistance. The rest which is the excess thrust is used for the propulsion. If you go step deeper, you can understand that the pressure drag doesn't causes only due to the frontal pressure. It is a combined effect of a frontal pressure and the rear suction or in other words the frontal pressure accumulated due to the movement of a vehicle and the negative pressure created at the rear side of the vehicle both are the contributors of the pressure drag. The negative pressure is caused mainly because of the formation of turbulent eddies which is actually the consequence of a flow separation. Hence streamlining is essential to reduce the frontal pressure and the rear suction. At this point, it is essential to discuss the streamlining of a vehicle body. Practically streamlining means the process of designing the body of the vehicle in a teardrop like shape. As we discussed earlier, the key focus of aerodynamic design in a vehicle is to reduce the frontal pressure and the rear suction. Here the streamlined shape provides very less frontal pressure accumulation as the shape is more curvy. As the size gradually decreases from the front to rear, the layer of air which is closer to the body, so called boundary layer, keeps on straying together with the body, so that the wake size is reduced. As the wake size is reduced, the turbulence at the rear side of the vehicle and the rear suction is reduced. As we expected, the streamlined body reduces the frontal pressure as well as the rear suction. Hence, a streamlined core body reduces pressure accumulation in the front, reduces the formation of wake and finally lowers the drag. In general, more the shape resembles the teardrop shape, lower the drag and higher the aerodynamic performance. To summarize, Pressure drag is a predominant component that is to be considered in an aerodynamic design which is actually a combined effect of frontal pressure accumulation and the rear suction. Streamlining a vehicle body can reduce the pressure drag, however it cannot be eliminated completely. Thank you.